Hey, ba bum bum Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Go Go Plays with himself. I'm the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from DAVKOCO.com. We are live on Coco Sports Twitch, archived on YouTube Coco Plays, and we're continuing Conquest. We're going to try to knock out a lot of stuff. Golden Star says, hello, YouTube. Let's rock and roll. All right, boys. So, uh, YouTube, our mission is to knock out Milwaukee. That is our mission. So right now, we did take over Oakland's base. I just thought of something. Oakland at any second could have took their base back. Thank God Oakland's a bunch of cowards. My question is, can they attack? If they have no bases, can they attack? Because, let me see, can Oakland, Oakland can attack. Why, why didn't Oakland attack? Wow, that's weird. Although at the time of this recording, it's Friday the 13th, the seven days until potential return of CM Punk. Heck yeah. Tomorrow we'll be having a lot of watch parties. Okay, I, I'm going to say it right now. I am very dumb. They can not attack without a base. I, literally, this is like a Three Stooges episode. I go back, <laughs> they attack. Look at this. If they attack me again. All right, we're going to sim just because we're just going to go back and forth. <laughs> I attack this way, they attack that way. I attack this way, they attack that way. Let's go steal some fans from Milwaukee. <laughs> it was like Wiley Coyote and a Roadrunner. I was like, oh, I wonder if they could still attack. I have no idea. They could have got the base back if they played their cards correctly. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to start Jim Palmer. Meep, meep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, we got Ken Griffey Jr. and Schmidt recently, so we're happy. Buner has to play for uh, Manners innings, and Palmer has to play to get a couple strikeouts. So we're doing a couple side quests on this adventure, but most importantly, we got to knock Milwaukee out. Uh, for Twitch and YouTube, NBA Live Series, a Madden 22 Series, um, college football, even though YouTube, YouTube, you are like miles behind uh, the day of the recording this. We have so much college football. Uh, college football is going to return. So, yeah. Oh, man. It hurts me so bad seeing Willie. The Willie! Oh, man. I wonder if I can get a Willie in Milwaukee jersey. All right. Buxton. I might have to bench Buxton. Because I can, I can get, I can get other players in, and I don't think, I don't think what's his name's here. He won't even know. He won't even know. Should I, but should I bench Buxton so that I could uh, get more powerful cards faster? Lurk, Hazar Junior, with the lurk, unbelievable. What's going on, Hazar Junior? How was your day, man? Uh, bench him. All right, we're benching him. Yeah, we're going for the cards. Next game, we'll bench him. Donnie Baseball. These Yankees, the Yankees and Chicago White Sox have to do a lot better. I'm trying to get a 99. Uh, I'm just trying to get a bunch of 99s, boys. You know? All today it was sunny, but there was rain at the same time. Oh, my God. You have the same weather as Tokyo. It's hot as hell and sunny as hell. And then in between, just storm. I don't know. It's kind of like stormy and hot. And just when you're like, oh, it stopped raining, the sun's like, fucking die. <laughs> no, this is more shitty than a sun shower. Maybe yours is a sun shower. Mine is a storm with fucking just blazing balls heat. And it's insane. There you are. Oh. Guys... I'm just gonna say, legit, have you ever met a Brewers fan? Do you think there's any Brewer fans out there? I'm even saying digitally. Has, does anyone know a Brewers fan? I don't think I've ever met a Brewers fan a day in my life. Oh shit. Well, me giving up home runs ain't gonna help. Oh, Jesus. Wow, they just got a triple. I feel kind of fucking embarrassed. I think Seth Rollins is a Brewers fan. Oh, that's what's wrong with him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's something adorable. How many fucking home runs can I possibly give? Palmer. 
I just recently got you, and you're supposed to be like this high-tech diamond, and I need strikeouts. But instead, you're just a fucking pervert. Maybe Austin Aries, since he's from Milwaukee. Alright, alright, so... Only... Former great wrestlers turn shitbags like the Milwaukee Brewers. Maybe that's a kryptonite. Like, you're like, hey... Like, who's your favorite indie wrestler that can really kick ass right now? Leave it in the comments. And then he becomes a Brewer fan, and then becomes a shell of himself and blames the fans. I see. I see. So only great indie wrestlers who give up on life are Brewers fans. Makes sense. One plus one. Good. Watch the New York Yankees Chicago White Sox. Yeah, I saw the opening. Guys, I still haven't found a copy of... <laughs> I still haven't been able to watch Field of Dreams. It's kind of embarrassed yesterday. I've watched a lot of baseball movies, and I've never seen Field of Dreams. And I don't know if I should be a big fat phony and pretend I saw it, or just be honest and say I gotta find a copy. Warhouse, it's AEW and ROH don't count anymore. Yeah, and New Japan. All right, so Warhouse, if he ever gives up on life and stops trying and then blames the fans, you know he's a Brewers fan. There you go. I don't even know who the fuck's sitting here. Oh, that was Mike Schmidt. Fucking dirty whore. Ken Griffey Jr., his first at-bat home run, boys. First at-bat home run. You getting Super Nintendo vibes? You getting Super Nintendo vibes? Look at this. You got him out of a pack, boys. I got more diamonds than I know what to do with. All right, here we go. All right, come on. Just give me a good pitch, you jerk. Give me a good pitch. I love King Griffey Jr. If loving King Griffey Jr. is wrong, I don't want to ever be right. Honestly, ever since the prom came out, I've seen everyone. I admit it. I've never actually seen Field of Dreams, and no one says they have seen it. Yeah. I I want to see it. I, I even looked for it on Netflix. I've watched Major League. I, I'm going to watch 42, though. That's on Netflix. I haven't seen 42 yet. Maybe I'll watch that tonight with the bear. There will be a watch party, pre-show SmackDown. Then we'll also be watching the first ever AEW Rampage. And we'll also be watching uh, New Japan events. So, a lot of watch parties, lots of video games in Japan. COVID and the Delta Force, I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called, have spiked. And it's like hurricane and storming. So we do have a dentist appointment, but outside of a dentist appointment, we'll be watching wrestling or playing video games. I'm disappointed it's Friday the 13th and the Friday the 13th game is not free today. Yeah, that's good point, Golden Star. But then again, out of all days for it not to be free, because I actually thought about it. I was like, should I play a Friday the 13th game? And then I realized that's not a sport game. <laughs> I think, didn't uh, Yuri the Black used to play Friday the 13th? I could be wrong. Anyway, he doesn't stick around too long. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, there we are. Yeah. It's a dead game. I played Dead by Daylight. Oh, Dead by Daylight. That's it. Yeah. Oh! That's the closest I ever got to robbing a home run, boys! Boys! Let's get a replay of that. Oh, my God. I've never robbed a home run. Like, legit robbed a home run. Sometimes I kind of lie, but I'm nowhere near robbing a home run. This is legit the closest I've ever came to robbing a home run. I don't give up many hits, but when I do, they're home runs. What are you doing? Oh, whoops. Wrong outfielder. Oh, Bjorner, you tubby bastard. Okay, from this angle, it was nowhere near as close. From the angle I was playing, that looked a lot closer. Sadly, boys, that is seriously the closest I've ever come to robbing a home run. Okay. Well, I mean, I shouldn't have won a replay. It looked way better at the other camera angle. By the way, Yuri, did you hear that Bronson Reed indirectly called out Miro? Oh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Guys, I'm going to say it. I'm not that good with Palmer. And he was a very expensive. I got no more stubs. But I do got 99 Mike Schmidt. And you really don't need stud. I heard about it, but didn't see the video. If you did via video. 
do, 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 do. All right, come on, Longo. Jonah Rock is awesome. Oh, did he deserve to be signed to AEW or New Japan? Yeah. It's going to be very interesting. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm really worried about New Japan. Like, not like business-wise, booking-wise. I'm talking they barely have a roster. And we just got the um, shots. And we're at all-time highs. There's momentum changes in Madden. Nice. There was a tweet he posted. He noticed the capitals spelled out, give me my row. Oh, that's a Jonah Rocky with Bronson Reed. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know much about those dudes. All right. We're getting Reggie in. Reggie, you're Mr. October. We need you now more than ever. And we better warm someone up. Eh. There's home field advantage. That's nice. They're bringing back events from 2014. <laughs> I don't want to be negative. I don't. But it's so hard. It's so hard to be negative because if you play NCAA 14 or an old Madden game, you can't shit your pants for shit that's er, they took away. Met Jonah at the second house of Hardcore in Melbourne. Nice. Away teams playing in Denver will get tired fast to do the altitude. That's that's nice. That's new. That's new. I'm super over in NXT. Had a really good match with Adam Cole. Nice. Yeah. Well, we're going to start watch parties. I'm getting back into wrestling little by little. And as far as uh, New Japan and Japanese wrestling, I'm concerned because, you know, everywhere else in the world is improving. And Japan's like, we're at an all-time high. Uh, and Olympics was a great idea. I know it's weird. I, guys, put, take off your PC hats for a while. Tell me if this seems a bit fucked up by Japan, okay? Let me... Let me tell you the scenario. So they have the Olympics, right? And when the Olympics started, the COVID was at a pretty controllable level, according to the media. Then, the... Holy shit, who the fuck is the hero? Franco. Franco's the hero. Franco's the hero. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I fucking love you, Franco. I honestly thought I was going to lose this game, boys. Uh, here, get snow in there. So they have the Olympics... They don't have fans. Now it's at an all-time high. And the Paralympics, what is it called? The Paralympics is coming? I don't think that's what it's called, bear friend. Paralympics? All right, first off, shit fucking name. Second off, they're doing it. And at, at the highest peak Japan's ever been at for COVID, and they don't have enough shots, they're going to let the fans in. Now, I know this doesn't sound very PC, but does it sound like they don't care about a certain type of athlete compared to another? Maybe it's me, but that seems fucking... When I read that, I was like, does anyone else see this as a fucked up situation? I keep getting kicked from the servers, though. Yeah, I can imagine. It's probably not full power. Speaking of see Johnny Guerrero and LeRae announced they're having their first child due. Oh, man, that's going to be a great wrestler. So I'm wrestling the first New Japan Tour of Australia, Festival Hall versus Suzuki. That must have been a great match. I love Suzuki. Do I remind you that you can vote for Coco to avoid getting a five-second penalty? Oh, it's the Paralympics? Yeah. So even though... Let's put vote Coco. I'm in second place as coolest streamer. Maybe we can get first. I got to start also voting for the best graphics. There are only two awards we got. Being cool and graphics. I don't think it's very accurate, but we'll fucking go with it. Second coolest streamer in NHL community, according to one poll. And I'm pretty sure people that are not on the poll will be like, but I'm cooler than you. And it's fucking true, but are you in the poll? <laughs> uh, my favorite thing is about the NHL community was when uh, all techs made a list and the guys on top were like, oh, people on the bottom are just complaining. And then an award show came out and it was the same thing, except the guys that were on top of the poll weren't on top of the award show. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were complaining. Oh, human beings are so petty and pathetic. I fucking love it. <laughs> AJ! Hello, chap. Been grinding away. Get more info for my documents. Heck yeah. Johnny Guerrero is going to be an awesome father. Yeah, probably. 
Been also enjoying Back for Blood Beta. I, I haven't played it, but I've seen a lot of my streamer friends, even the sport ones, play it. Fun fact, Larray is also a professional baker. I did not know that. Fun fact, she was a big part of Coco Sports Dream, the original version. I don't know. Dude, I don't know if Bear Friend even knows this. Bear, my old boss in media keeps asking me when I'm moving back. So that's a good sign. So boys, I might work in behind the camera of television and radio again. I mean, I could go on air, but I'm like, uh, you know, like you wouldn't let me on air before because of concussions. And now they're worse. Like, don't worry about it, kid. You got this. I also made graphics for my top 10 in every position for my NHL 22 build if you want to see them. I'd love to, brother. We'll show them off in between games. The epic return of Wrestle Night from Florida. Yeah. I'd probably more like knockout radio, talking sports, but I don't know. I'm very lucky because it's been like 15 years. My old boss is like, yeah, you got a fucking job as soon as you get back. And I'm like, you know what? I fucking like that. Franco, player of the game. Fucking player of the century, boys. I thought we were going to fucking lose that. All right, Palmer's got to get a couple more strikeouts. Yeah, so we have to make a decision. We're either going to live in Yokohama or probably the Clearwater area. And they're nowhere near each other. Clearwater, Florida is outside Tampa. <laughs> and Yokohama, uh, Shin Yokohama is like 10 minutes away from our house. So, you know, we're either... <laughs> You know how it is. Either Florida or Japan. All right, boys. We don't need to move fans, do we? Eh, we'll move a couple over here just in case we get attacked. So, yeah. So, I'm excited. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Oh, damn. I got five? It's embarrassing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the epic return of Wrestle Night from Florida. Dude, that was on so many radio stations. It's insane. Sent? All right, brother. As soon as I'm done playing chess on cornfields, we're going to look for it. Dude, my team sims so bad. All right, let's go. We'll give it a check. I'm going to attack up here. And after we attack up here, we'll go look. We'll go attack this seven, even though I probably shouldn't. Like your fucking attitude, Seven. Let's go see if the internet's working. To the internet! It never works on your first try. Why? So why does it work sometimes and not other times? Do you ever think about that to yourself? You're like, why does the internet fuck up? Alright. Oh, look at these top tens, boys. While that's going on, I'm just gonna sim for the sake of simming. And then let's go see this. It's 901. There we go. All right, top 10 centers. McDavid? McKinnon? I haven't watched enough of him, but everyone rates him pretty high. Austin Matthews, Sidney Crosby. See, I think points should be higher, but that's just me. Bergeon, Eichel, uh, Barkov, and Gator. Not bad, not bad. Is this your rankings? Because it looks so professional. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta watch more Colorado games, man. People say he's amazing, and I, I just haven't watched enough games. Uh, top 10 left wingers, Breadman. Sean. All right. Well, let's go. Look at it. Max. Taylor Hall. Damn. Taylor Hall shot up. What a fucking comeback story. Right wings. Oh, fuck that. Cooch is number one by far. Uh, too bad. Top 10 defenseman. I heard Adam Fox is really good. I like McCarr. 
Uh, Dougie. Edmund. Yeah, Edmund didn't have the best stats. He just wins Stanley Cups. No goalies? What the fuck? Goalies get no goddamn fucking respect. Maybe it's down here. Everyone calm down. <laughs> goalies. <laughs> Vasi, number one. Nice. Hellebuck. Flurry. That's crazy. Look at this, dude. It's crazy. They... I just, I don't understand hockey. <laughs> how is it, how did they, I don't know. Uh, Leonard Gruber. So not bad, not bad. Igor, man, he's a young dude. That's crazy. Yeah, it's interesting. All right, interesting, interesting. I don't watch enough hockey to argue enough. I do love the lightning a little too much, so I might be biased. Let's go see Anderson Silva. Uh, Anderson Silva rebounds from first career loss. All right, nice. 24-year-old uh, Wanderlei Silva earned his 12th professional win. Nice. Dude, look at this Iron Sheik looking bastard. Man, that's a nice mustache. Uh, Ronda Rousey, yeah, I saw this. Ronda Rousey, Strike Force debut. I love Ronda Rousey. I know it's not popular because she complains it's outspoken. But I love her. Okada versus Omega 3. God damn it. That's beautiful. That's getting a retweet, boys. That's that's retweet worthy right there. And maybe we'll retweet some hockey, too. Let's go retweet some hockey. You bust your ass. These graphics look really good, brother. All right. I think that might be it for the Twitter machine. Look at this. He, Sam Besser's making the London Monarchs like a fucking pervert. But look at this. No Raw Thunder. No Raw Thunder. Where's the quarterbacks? I don't know. There is no Raw Thunder. This is a fucking phony knockoff London Monarchs. There, I said it, you perverts. I said it. Yeah, Igor's really good analytic-wise. Yeah, my favorite match ever. Perv! <laughs> yeah. Yo, your Twitter hair is hilarious. Say hi to Larry for me. Will do, King Lime. I'm probably going to do that more often. That actually started off as a fluke, and it was Bear Friend's idea. And I'm like, I'm kind of awkward and weird. She's like, just roll with it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> now she directs me. She's like, you got to ask the mods longer. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, all right. Uh, there you go. Don't let Habs fans see I don't have carry in my top 10. Oh, yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> we, <laughs> we've been listening. AJ, we've been listening to Toogie's take too long. We've been listening to Toogie's take too long. Legend has it that Lundquist has... Was traded, he told Igor, this is your team now. Really? That's amazing. I like to hear stories like that. Uh, we're done attacking for now, but we'll be back to attacking in a bit. We're going to go steal fans. I'm Mr. Steal Your Fans. Uh, check messages. Uh, Sam, this better be the greatest fucking message ever. You fucking pervert. I swear to fucking Christ, this isn't going to be, this better be the greatest fucking message ever. Tim, you feel a little embarrassed right now. Tim Bay Buccaneers. What am I looking at, Sam? There's no London Monarchs. Is there? Are you the Cleveland Browns? What am I looking at, Sam? Tim Bay Buccaneers, seventh seed. That's a bit crazy. That LA logo. I'm not used to that LA logo. I'm not used to that LA logo. Uh... Gary is tied for 10th. Oh, really? Oh, we gotta get more strikeouts with Palmer. But I decided on Jack doing a shutoff streak. Fucking burp! <laughs> hey, what's up, tight spot? Alright, let's see what we got. Griffey Jr., you're coming up. Mike Schmidt, you're coming up. Jay Buhner. There you go. There you go. It's good enough for government work. The Monarchs is a UDFA franchise. Oh, nice. Well... Yeah, but Roll Thunder is a UDFA, you fucking pervert. The fuck? You think you think fucking <laughs> hacks again? What's going on? People argue that Vasi isn't one of the top five players in NHL, and I disagree. That's insane. What does the guy have to fucking do? I have no idea why hockey fans hate goalies. 
What does he have to do? Thunder is too old? You're too old, Sam. You broke my heart, Sam. You want to make an old man cry on stream, Sam? Because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Exican in the house. Dude, last night, Exican was balling. I fucking... I was scared. I thought he was going to come back and fucking break my legs or something. He was supporting us big time. Me and Bearfriend have to fucking wash his car. Dude, dude. Vasi's one of the hardest goalies to score on a modern era of NHL. I, I don't watch enough, and I'm a super uh, Lightning fan. I mostly just watch the Lightning, but I think he's amazing. But at the same time, I want to put an asterisk. I live in Japan and only watch the Lightning. Sammy! X Sammy 33X! Sammy, thank you so much for the raid. Ma guys, listen, Sammy does speedruns of Mega Man and plays a lot of baseball and sports. Dude, Sammy, I love putting on your stream straight up shoot and just chilling out. Like me and my girl watch your Mega Man streams. I'll watch your sports streams. Yeah, it's it's good shit, guys. Let's I usually don't do shout outs in the middle, but you gotta throw Sammy a shout out. There you go. Look at that. Oh, he's playing fucking killer names. What is this? The Last of Us 7? Hey, man. Sammy, thank you so much, man. How have you been, brother? And look at that. The mods were on it, buddy. Cowabunga! Randomized plays just resubscribed. Heck yeah. What did, what did that just say? Won't be famous as following? <laughs> hey, awesome scream name. I just woke up and should be asleep because I have an interview in 8.5 hours. All right, listen, dude. I love you guys. I know I'm a loser in Japan. And hey, Sammy, thank you. I'm a loser in Japan. I stream sports games, rec fest, and watch parties of wrestling every day after work with a dinosaur named Raptor Man. And I love the fact that you guys check me out at the crazy times I stream here living in Japan. But definitely get some sleep, man. But much love. Thank you for following. Welcome. Won't be famous. Oh, 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 Swallows fan won't be famous. Respect. I have a Swallows jersey over here. I live I, I live like a couple minutes away from the Swallows. Okay, get it on the wire. I can't find my jersey. Okay. Bear! Can't find my jersey. I look like a liar to the internet. You just gonna have to take my word on this one, guys. <laughs> oh, here it is. Tier one set to its line. Alright, here you go, little swallows action, boys. Dun, 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 dun. I got this jersey free because I bought some Japan, Japanese customer service. They thought I was leaving. So there you go. So there you go. It's hot as balls, so I'm not gonna wear it. Mark Stone doesn't get enough respect for his abilities. I don't know enough about him, to be honest. Doing well, how about you? Not bad, man. Just, uh, my, I'm a retired teacher, Sammy. And I stayed a little bit long because it's hard to find teachers during the pandemic. But I want to be like a full-time nerd and writer next year, so I'm excited and nervous. Hexican. Dude, I, I don't think I... Oh, oh, oh Hexican! If you ever in Yokohama, stop by for a high five. I appreciate the subscriptions. I sleep at 10 p.m. and now it's 3 a.m. No more sleep for me. It's okay, randomized plays. Listen, 98.9% .9 of our audience is people that can't sleep. I uh, appreciate it. Oh, you got the Leon, uh, the neon green fan jersey? Yeah, yeah. We went to the game and we bought the wrong tickets. And me and my friends went over and we were all foreigners. And we lived two minutes from the stadium. At least my friend lived two minutes from the stadium. We were all going to crash at his place. We lived two minutes from the stadium, but they thought we flew in. And it was like, yeah, dude, we got the wrong tickets. We want the free jersey. And the lady was like, okay, just wait. And they wanted us to wait us out. And like, they, like, well, guys, like, uh, guys, you're going to miss your train. You're going to miss your bus. Like, I don't worry about it. this jersey's important. We, you know, we really want the jersey. They wanted to wait us out until, like, there was no more buses or trains. And then, they, oh, like, someone that was in charge just came out and was angry and threw it at us. And, like, thank you for waiting. And, and my friend was, we only live two minutes away. So, I'm pretty sure they did not want to give us the free jerseys. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick is Madden's 22. He's at 81 overall. Nice. Part-time job, full-time schedule. That's true. I hear the Mega Man music. That's for you, Sammy. <laughs> 
Actually, Golden Stars picks a lot of our DJ music. Or people who have no grasp on sleep schedule like me, yeah. Uh, also, been going through a website and reports of all in draft class and adding notes to all 2021 draft nights. Strengths and weaknesses. Nice. I'll be ready for NAS bus tomorrow. That is when I'll be home. All right. Well, it's up to the voice. Guys, I just recently got Ken Griffey Jr., so I'm super happy. He's one of my favorite players of all time. So I got the problem in it now, guys. I have too many diamonds. Oh, that was embarrassing. That's a swang, boys. It's a heavy metal remix of whole Mega Man 2 track. Nice. Yeah. Golden Star Alex uh, is our DJ, and we add songs. We uh, try to get YouTube and Twitch to say that they're copyright free, but even then, we get bones sometimes and have to delete one. Yeah. So yeah, Sammy does uh, speed runs. So he plays he plays all different types of games, but I, I mostly watch him for sports and uh, speed runs on Mega Man. I think uh, we see the Bruins and Leafs in round one again, and Bruins winning game seven again. Maybe. I don't know. I I'm just rooting that we can get under the cap for the Tampa Bay Lightning, and we can three-peat. I don't think our team's as good, but we still have some key parts. And that's supposed to be all blacks tomorrow. So, well, tomorrow we'll be doing a watch party for WWE SmackDown, and then we're going to go to the main event, the first ever AEW... Uh, what is it called? Rampage? And then we'll be watching, uh, New Japan. So, we'll do a lot of watch parties, probably Madden. I want to get that NBA Live series going. Baseball and hockey. Uh, I don't know, because uh, I was listening to Tugi's Take Podcast, cheap pug. Um, I'm not part of it, I just listen to it a lot on the train. And he said even with that, there's 7 million over. But I, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. The Browns beat the Buccaneers 38-31 to win the Super Bowl. Damn. WWE SmackDown, I own Peacock. Nice. Yeah, we're going to do a SmackDown watch party, followed by an AEW watch party. We'll try to lurk tomorrow. I definitely need it, brother. The Twitch automating can hit a lot of songs that could be DMCM free. Uh, Proxy EDM gets that all the time since their entire label was DMCA free. Really? Yeah. Well, when this fails, we'll probably go with, uh... Because we asked people at YouTube and Twitch, and they said it should be okay. But even then, I have no idea, to be honest. Um, we do have a backup plan. I think it's Stream Beats or something. That will probably be the backup plan. And worst case scenario, you just won't have music. Because I'm not much of a music guy. I know that sounds weird. I don't know, I just never... I'm the type of guy that, when I get in your car, you can play any music you want. You know, like, I don't hate music. I'm just not passionate enough to pick it. You know what I mean? And, uh, so, yeah. You need to go to the airport now? All right, man. We'll see you when you get back, brother. Have a safe flight. No, you're fine. Put him on an LTR, and you have 9K in cap. Really? Hope that answers it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just listening to Toogie's podcast. He said that they might have to trade... Uh, Stammy. But a lot of times I'm not taking notes and I'm on a on a train ride in Japan to go to work. So I'm hoping you're right. Most video game soundtracks are okay unless they use mainstream songs like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was told won't be famous. So that's what we try to do. And then if YouTube strikes it down, we just take it out of the rotation. Nah, your team's good. All right, awesome. Yeah, I, I'm a, I am a very lucky sports fan. Long go. Uh, I've been a Tampa fan like 90% of my life. And as a kid, I, I grew up in New Jersey, but my I'm old. Most of my life I was a Tampa fan. And right now it's just a great time because throughout most of my life, Tampa, all the Tampa teams were laughing stocks or worse. And it's great to be on top of the world right now. May I suggest uh, Vision Radio on SoundCloud? It's hours of... Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't have the best memory, so if you could tweet me at Coco Sports. Yeah, thanks, Golden. But you're literally right at the cap. You can't add anymore. Yeah. There will be more moves, likely, though. 
they want some cap to work with the roster moves midseason. Cap friendly doesn't have anyone put on LTR right now. Long goes Longo, yeah. Um, Longo is my favorite Ray of all time, and I live here in Japan, and I got to see uh, the Major League Baseball All Stars play the Japanese All Stars, and it was so great because like I Longo wasn't a starter. And I had my whole section cheering for Longo, and it was cool because, like, you know, I'm a Giants fan, but I'm also a Rays fan. And, like, they kind of, because I had season tickets to the Tokyo Dome at one time, so the section kind of knew I was a crazy foreigner. And they were all chanting Longo. And during this all-star game that really didn't matter to much people, you know, it was America, Japan, and all that, Longo comes off the bench and smacks a home run into Tokyo Dome. It was like one of those few moments that not many people witnessed that was really special. And it was great because like a bunch of Japanese fans that had no idea who Longo was or the Rays were losing their shit. So it was it was a fun night. Yeah. Uh, my ba my baseball fandoms are basically a trio of non-essential Yuko, Oryx, and Boston Red Sox. Yeah, I I have a I have a big market team in Japan with the Tokyo Giants, even though, you know, I'll, I'll watch all the games, it doesn't matter. But uh, a small market in, uh, in America, uh, I like the Rays. But if the Rays move to Montreal, I've already decided I'll become a Mets fan. But I don't know, San Diego is really fun to watch. Do, do, do. And they put Furlan on LTR, I got 16.8. Speaking of NHL, how about the Kraken already making an oopsie doopsie with that Gruber contract? Rah, I, mi I missed that. What? If you can go into detail, that'd be great. Won't be famous. I'm a Pirates fan. Oh, yeah. There's a really popular baseball streamer. Um, shit, I can't think of his name. He's a Pittsburgh fan. Paul Sinny. So, yeah. I've been meeting a lot on stream and on the internet. I've been leading a lot of Pittsburgh fans. The Rays just need to move across the river and they'll be fine. I, I agree. I... I had season tickets back in the day to Tropicana Field, and uh, Tropicana Field is a horrible stadium, but like when you have a season ticket, it, it feels like your home, it feels special, but if they move across the way, I don't know if that's enough, but I'd rather the move to Tampa than move to Montreal. Let's get Reggie up there. Yeah, basically the Kraken had to restrict the contract to meet NHL requirements. Oh man, that sucks. I hope they do good. I have pick up NHL now. Uh, Seattle as a team. That's awesome. Yeah. I thought about doing that with uh, a soccer or football. European football. I know nothing about the sport. But I thought about just grabbing an expansion team and be like, oh, that's that's my team. Yeah. I, I grew up uh, in the Northeast area. And it's weird because I never had a favorite team until the Rays. Because I was passed around as a kid a lot, and I thought if I had a favorite team, I wouldn't be able to go. Like if I was, I was like, oh, I'm a Mets fan. They're like, oh well, I was gonna take you to a Phillies game. So I never wanted to pick a favorite team, but I used to love the Phillies players, the Mets players, and Yankee players. And I never said I was a fan of any of the teams, for the simple fact that I was like, well, if Uncle Raj is a Mets fan, and I say I'm a Yankees fan, he won't take me. I don't know. I don't know if I, I think I fucking panicked a little too much as a kid. <laughs> so whoever, yeah. Uh, Seattle, uh, Seattle, I got pro uh, projected to make playoffs. Great defense, but their offense is a little sus. Uh, I, I'm going to get a Yanni jersey. You got Yanni. I love Yanni. Uh, they have the best uh, tandem in NHL. FIFA 22 is adding creative team this year. Won't exactly work like an expansion team, but should be fun. That does sound like fun, and not only that, but FIFA gets it, then Madden gets it, and then possibly, well, NHL already has it. It is so weird. I don't understand why they don't have all the same fucking features. Gruber and Dreader is going to be so good. All right, the entire... Wander's been on fire, boys. Got to get yourself a 99 Wander, and the Rays got to sign him to a lifetime contract. He's one, two. I know the Kraken were barely making minimum cap floor after the draft. After Gruber, they were still have some money. They wanted to make moves this offseason. 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting. They have a great opportunity, and Vegas has shown that it can be done. Now, granted, Vegas dick punchers, a.k.a. Vegas fans, are like, oh, it wasn't that great. But if you look at any expansion team throughout history, no one had the opportunity Vegas and Seattle did. You know, fucking thrashers. Jesus Christ, they got fucked so bad, the city of Atlanta should be able to sue the, uh, to sue the NHL. Yanni's out for the start of the year, though. Really? I didn't know that. That's sad. Thank you for not being a dick puncher, Dave. <laughs> no problem. I'll try my best. <laughs> Let me the VGK my team. Was all the side deals. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I don't mind it. The only thing I do mind about the Vegas fans is, like, people have arguments... And then, like, I remember because, like, we have a bunch of Vegas fans that hang out in the chat. And I was like, okay, I don't really care. And then, like, they told me what people were making fun of Vegas for. And then I was like, what? Why are you in... I don't know. It's just weird. A bunch of people basically made fun of Vegas fans. And then a Vegas fan's defense was, were teams not that good? And then, like, you go back and look at the opportunities they had over any other expansion team... It's kind of like, listen, sometimes when your team has an advantage, you just fucking tip your hat and fucking move on. That'd be like me, you guys being like, oh, fucking the lightning, we're over the cap. We were. Good day. That's it. But if I, like a bunch of Vegas fans came here and like told me their story and I was like, I hate to say this, Vegas. The other people have a point. Uh, I never exactly got the point that Chris Peps was trying to make. He keeps bringing it up stuff. And he just kept repeating it. It's like, once you make you, once you make your stance, and I'm like, okay, I disagree with that. I don't know what the tactic of repeating it is. And that's what a bunch of Vegas fans did. It'd be like, this is a Milwaukee Bucks cup. And you're like, no, it's a Lakers fan. No, but it's a Milwaukee Bucks cup. And it's just like... You're just repeating the same thing. I disagree with what you're repeating. Oh, so it's Jay White again. Yeah. I made a video a long time ago about Jay White winning the IDP title. And I said it was one of the worst decisions ever, and I stick by it. And Ghetto has made even worse decisions since then, so way to go, Ghetto. And Jay White does deserve the title now, but at the time, he didn't. And... I made this video, it was like an hour long, and they were just like, yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm not a big believer of, say your piece, if you disagree, tip your hat, and move on. But don't old lady it, and what I mean by old lady it is, you know, just repeat the same thing over and over until the person gets annoyed and just agrees with you. It's a box cup, it's a box cup, it's a box cup, alright, fuck it, it's a box cup, old lady. I, I just want to end this conversation. Yeah. So it's an odd situation with Vegas, really, because they did have a much nicer draft than prior expansion drafts, but they should still not have been a finals team with those rules. I guess. I just think it's a stupid conversation. Just tip your fucking hat and say, I hope we win. It's a dumb conversation. Because to win the conversation, you have to insult your team. Anytime you say you have to insult your team to win a conversation, tip your hat and move on. Ooh, look at all these packs. Guys, I think, I, I think I'm allergic to diamonds. I've been getting way too many fucking diamonds. <laughs> That's all we get. Let's open up these packs, boys. Jay Wade's awesome, though, but yeah, he's pushed too fast. Oh, he deserves the title now, but they gave it to him the wrong time because they wanted to make the American fans happy. The problem with Ghetto is he runs the same formula, so new new WWE fans are like, he's a genius. And then New Japan... Uh, not New Japan fans. Fans that live in Japan that have been following it for a while want it a certain way, and American fans want it the certain way. And... You know, when you pass around your title and you give it to people when it, they're not worthy of it, it ruins your title. And here's the fucked up part. It actually ruined Jay White's career and he, fucking his moment. Because he deserves the title now, but who gives a shit? He already had it. But, you know, people are like, oh, I'm American. Fucking let's give the title to everybody. It's like, all right, well, 
It's like, guys, I hate the American product. Can you make the Japanese product just like the American product? Like, where you go talk to Japanese people and they're like, if you're not in the top five, look at that, another archer. Um, level five archer. Next year, I'm going to be number one. I'm kind of embarrassed that I was number two. Ugh. Ugh. Embarrassing. Uh, yeah, he barely ever held a strap. But yeah, and then he shouldn't have it. <laughs> uh, Japan, usually, especially the wrestling fans that I hang out with, they want long title runs by the best people in the company. And that's not what the American fans want. Like, the fact that you're like, oh, but he barely held it. That, like, are, you know, if I went to a Japanese pro wrestling bar, that would be like, yeah, so it doesn't make it good. Are we going with Hank Aaron, boys? Are we going with a future star? Future star or Hank Aaron? Vote now, vote often. What do you got? I already got everyone else. Hammer and Hank? Or uh, we could see the future. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think New Japan, and not a lot, but a lot of newer fans think it's the prime now, where it was the prime when they were at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Aaron? All right. Hammer and Hank. It's before my time, but I still love them. There you go. Add to the lineup. Mm, you know, I'll give you a shot, buddy. I'll give you a shot. I don't know who should get rid of. Low? I can't do it. Can I? Ooh, I'm a Rays fan, but we'll give Hammer and Hank a shot. Give Hammer and Hank a shot here, boys. All right, and let's, uh... Let's fuck around with this batting order. Still, we gotta still play Seattle, guys. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get Hank Aaron his fucking star. You're right. He deserves it. Uh, Mattingly, no one wants you there. All right, Mike Schmidt. All right, I love you, Donnie Baseball. We want to get you to level five, but... I remember when we first got Don Madden, we were like, he's the greatest player ever, and now... It's like, he's there. Uh... Yeah, I like long title runs as long as they stay exciting, but most part in a guy who ends the reign is worth it. I agree with that. Aaron... The way the draft was set up for Vegas, we, we should really had maybe a second line and multiple three lines and no true first D pairing, but somehow we landed Rosalind Smith, entire Florida wing pair. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great draft. And like a bunch of fucking Canadian fans or educated fans came by and said, oh, you were given everything. And you, you should have just tipped your fucking hat and kept walking. But you're like, nah. -uh. And then you get some random Tampa fan they're like, can you believe they said that? And I'll be like, can you believe they're right? <laughs> it's just a weird thing. It's a weird thing to to have to insult your team to prove a point. All right, let's see what we got here, boys. We'll put you. There you go. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Stay tuned. I don't know. All right, boys. Hopefully that they win this. Triple H two-year title run. We're a bit shit. Uh, maybe, but at least he had to respect to be heel. A lot, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these wrestlers want long title runs and not respect the business enough to be heel. I don't know. I, I don't mind a long title run uh, if he's a heel. If you're a face and you're not over and you have a long title run, you're, that's the worst thing in pro wrestling, period. What? You, Oakland, you're being a real fucking dick. Alright? You don't even have a base. Just die. Okay? Can you just die, Oakland? You're over here fucking fighting. Yeah, Vegas has their stars aligned when they had no business had that good of a first year. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, like, it's also a brand new team. So it's going to be very uh, interesting because write down all those Vegas fans. Because I don't think, and I, I, you know, I like the Rays. I like the Lightning. I love expansion teams. I don't think you're a, 
actual expansion team fan until you've missed the playoffs three years in a row. It's like I'm a C I'm a Seattle fan. Well, you gotta earn you gotta you gotta be a fan when the team misses three playoffs in a row. That's when you earn your wings. You know? Because I think a lot of these Vegas fans in three years ain't gonna be Vegas fans. If Seattle does that, then holy fuck. Or a Sabres fan. Yeah. If you're a Sabres fan, if you know any Sabre fan, you just buy him a fucking beer. You're just like, you did it, buddy. <laughs> you fucking did it. Yeah. When you miss 10 years of playoffs in a row, then you're a fucking fan. <laughs> That's why, like, you know, I had to suffer through Tampa. And now that we're so hot, people come by and be like, oh my god, you're a bandwagon fan. I'm like, dude, I had season tickets to the hit show. If anyone doesn't know about Tampa baseball, that was a fucking disaster. No, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go. The Glendale Coyotes, yeah, poor architect. I, I'll i say Seattle uh, won't be in the playoffs this year. I don't know. I... I I want to see more what the league looks like when it gets closer. I think there's too many question marks. So we're going to Golden Knight fans to being Phoenix Coyote fans. <laughs> Glendale Coyote fans, yeah. Brown fans are true fans, yeah. Because here's the thing, like, when you see, like, to me, one of the most beautiful things in sports is a, uh, shit, I fucked up. Does that camera got speed? This is before my time. You know that's good enough. Griffey has speed. Um, is when a team has been fucking horrible and you are loyal to it and they win a championship. That feeling is what sports is about, in my opinion. It's just amazing. You know what I mean? You, you see when the Buccaneers won a Super Bowl and you just saw that old guy who suffered with fucking tears in his eyes. That's a fucking fan. That's a fan. You know? Uh, nah, Pacific Division sucks. They're better than half the division. Better than uh, Cali teams. Better than Vancouver. Yeah, books. Hell yeah. And if you guys want to know, there's Japanese teams and uh, Tampa teams. But these are my favorite teams. So, I watch a lot of Japanese sports living here. The Browns, Lions, Vikings, Oilers. What's this list? <laughs> Check out my book, Lucky the Orphan. It's got sports, pro wrestling, orphans, Nintendos. It has it all. There we go. Oh, schnooky. Damn. Vancouver and Edmonton edge them on offense, but Seattle beats them on uh, back end. Listen, football teams that true fans since they usually suck. Oh, got it. Have you seen an X-League game? I have season tickets to the Fujitsu Frontiers. Yeah. Um, I've been to the Rice Bowl, the X-Bowl. I The Fujitsu Frontiers are a really strong team. Yeah, I got a hat and jersey. Come on. Come on. Come on. You think I'm an amateur? Get out of here. Frontiers for life. My hat's crooked and broken. But still, I love them. Yeah, I have season tickets, so me and Bear, we go to all the games. And, yeah, they, uh, they are a really strong team. I don't know the X, uh, X League teams. Oh, okay. Uh, Panasonic has a good team, but this team is way too powerful. But they lost for the first time in years. So, uh, the Fujitsu Frontiers are a really powerful team. And they, like, change the rules because of how powerful they are. Man, this hat is really cook crooked. It used to not be crooked. I don't know. I think I got a crooked head or something. I just always buy... Oh, my hats eventually get crooked. Yeah. All I know, there's a team uh, fully fielded by the Tokyo Metro Police Riot Division. Really? That must be a lower league level. Above Coco? Oh, man. That's a spitter. Vancouver and Edmonton beat them on offense. But McDavid's to pop off 150. The ESPN projection is correct. And a shitty defense Oilers team. C3D. Oilers might suck, but they're fun to watch. 
Seattle's a decent team. Hockey team to start off a lot of improvement, though. Never mind. Wiki says 2020. They lost the first round. Do -do 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 -do. So, yeah, there's different divisions. What's the team name, though? Because I can't think of it. Uh, my friend used to work for Panasonic. He used to be a football player for the Impulse. And Fujitsu Frontiers. They have the Deers. Um, the problem with the uh, Japanese Football League, there used to be like 20 of them and a bunch of bowls, and now they're combining them. And it's cool because they have the soccer format. So, but it sucks because they finally combined all the football leagues, and then COVID happened, so... Yeah. They either got bombed to the X League or dominated in the second league, so they're consistently promoted and regularly. Ah, oh, okay. My old TV was a Panasonic. Oh, wait. Between X1 and X2. Nice. Yeah, that's... They just recently did that eagle. Think, still think the Lightning finished top of the Atlantic? I hope so, man. I... I'm just gonna root for... Dude, I, I don't... I don't like giving my opinion on the Lightning because I am, like, such a super fan. Like... Like, I just tell people I'm biased. Like, I I'm, I think they're gonna win a three-peat. And I'm gonna even root my heart off. I, I, I'm, I'm too close. You know, AJ, I think they have a shot though. Oh shit. The Seattle founders FC were runner up. Good for them. Yeah. I mostly just keep up with Fujitsu frontiers, but yeah. Oh, there's a website. I apologize. Uh, Instagram website that keeps track of all of it. I think uh, the Colorado is better than me though. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. I I don't know. I I just think if we make the playoffs, we have a shot, and I think we're gonna make the playoffs. I don't know. No screw, but even got pet, a better goalie. Damn. Dave thought the Lightning were gonna win the cup. Yeah, the, exactly. Like Golden Star will tell you, I am like such, like, and I have to just be honest, I am such a Lightning fan. Like, when they were down 3-0 to Columbus, I was like, they're going to come back. They're going to come back. They're going to come back. So, yeah. I, I'm i just a super fan, guys. Yeah. Because, like, when I moved to Japan with the time zones and stuff, I was like, I can't follow all sports. So, I was like, I'm just going to follow my favorite teams. Ah, that's it. Vegas got weaker. Yeah. Well, I just can't believe they're giving away the goalie. If I can find the money and get a decent place, I want to get all the former Lightning players that left jerseys on their new teams. Like Coleman on Calgary, Johnson in Chicago, uh, Yanni in Seattle. I'd like to do that. Um, it's hard to get, it's hard to get real and affordable jerseys in Japan. That combination's hard. St. Louis Rangers never. I don't know. There was a, what's his name was telling me, uh, Sam, that there was a cheap JD hockey hero Miller, uh, Rangers jersey. Skip. How dare you? All right. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Faye is going to be interesting. Leonard's definitely a solid starter, quality goaltender, though there's a little question with Mark Stone as one center. JT, awfully dense Miller, you mean? Hey, we could. We'll take him back. Uh, something that I was wrong about. A lot of streamers don't admit. A lot of human beings don't admit they're wrong. I wish we kept JT Hockey Hero Miller the, more than Plot, but in the playoffs, Plot really fucking stepped it up. I was like, Plot, you're now a man. Uh, at least they're very quick to be disenfranchised and very easily pessimistic fan base. JT, I take stupid. Penalties as well. Yeah. Uh, who, who has a fan base? Do, 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 do. 
What fan base are you talking about won't be famous? Cena. Ugh. Yeah. I actually hate him. This was added to the list as a joke. Um, I used to work for uh, WWE in every major wrestling promotion, not name uh, Ring of Honor. I was a guest at Ring of Honor, but I never got paid by Ring of Honor. But every major wrestling company I've been paid for. And I know someone's going to be like, give me 57 million examples. But in pro wrestling, the people are pretty nice people. And I can do a list of three people that are pieces of shit, and he tops it. And then you're like, give me an example. It's like, all right, he's a horrible human being. I need an example. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Millsy's only got an offensive face. They get very depressed very quickly now. The Vegas fans? Besides that, he sucks. Correction, you added it because Cynical get put in a song as a joke. Yeah. Alright. That sucks. Because we love them in Tampa. But I don't know. Maybe it's because as a Tampa fan, we love our players too much. But I feel like outside of Willie, God bless you, Willie. It seems like once you leave Tampa, you, you fucking suck. I don't know if it's because the fan base loves them too much, or I don't know what the deal is. It's like, Archer, we love you, goes to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's like, you can have him back now. Snell leaves. They're like, all right. Oh, shit, I forgot to warm someone up. And I don't think... Oh, here's Gibbons. Whenever I forget to warm someone up, I bring in Gibbons. He doesn't even play for Colorado anymore. He's traded. Gibbons. He has no drive. That's sad. We loved him in Tampa, and we didn't notice that. You can tell Miller wasn't enjoying uh, himself this past year, which sucks, yeah. I honestly think, you know, and maybe I'm a delusional Lightning fan, I think a lot of these players would rather just stay in Tampa, but with salary caps and rules. Oh shit, I done fucking goofed. Guys, I hit the wrong button. It's the first time it's ever happened on this stream. Uh, Chris Archer was already dropping in value with trade Archer for Glassnell and Meadows. I know. I We won that trade, man. We won that trade. And he came back. It was amazing. Watch real quick. Alright. I can't put it on stream, though, because it's copyrighted. It's, there we go. Oh, it's only 10 seconds. Let's see. Drops double left bombs. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wish he got to stay in Tampa. It doesn't seem like Vancouver's enjoying him. It doesn't seem like he's enjoying him. I'll definitely check that out again later. The, tr uh, the Pirates trade philosophy makes zero sense. I'm not a Pirates fan, but I I have a lot of Pirates fans that stop by in, in the chat. And it just sounds like hard times, brother. It sounds like hard times. We love Miller Vancouver, but this past year was awful for him. Uh, well, sorry to hear that. Hopefully he bounces back. So... I don't know. I don't know about other fan bases, but I noticed the Tampa Bay Lightning fans. We we started with kind of Bishop. It's like we love you, but not tonight. Whenever uh, you got it, I'll mute the video. Is it still looping? Oh uh, yeah, hockey guy. What the hell, hockey guy? You're not famous enough. You gotta invade. You gotta invade us, hockey guy. I have autoplay on YouTube, so after it, it just went to hockey guy. Sam says he'll bounce back, but I don't know. Like when when your when your players leave, do you still root for them when they're not playing against you? Uh, we just lost, boys. I hate autoplay. I usually do too, but the computer that we record this on, we barely use it, so I think it was just automatically select to autoplay. It's the hockey guy. Shoot! Shout out to the hockey guy. He's super. He's super chill, super famous, and super cool. I never met him, but I think people in the chat have. 
Yeah, Miller didn't have a fun year. Yeah, Ben Bishop could be a Hall of Fame worthy 10 day if it was an insane injury history that derails him each time. Yeah, but usually, like when people leave the Lightning, the Lightning fans still root for them as long as they ain't playing for the Lightning. I don't know if other fan bases do that. I don't know if we're a fucking bunch of wacky dudes in Tampa. But like, yeah, we're gonna root our asses off for of Coleman, Yanni, and Johnson as long as they ain't playing Tampa. So like, you know, like, and I'm speaking for like the majority of Lightning fans that fucking I interact with. Like, we don't want JT Hockey Hero Miller to do bad unless he's playing the Lightning. But you know, ah, uh, we lost one, boys. Oh, Michael Givens, don't look at me like that. Channel legend Michael Givens. I have no idea why we keep Michael Givens around, but he's here. Mm. Yeah. Don't know how much I liked him on the Rangers. Sometimes I'll cheer for him. Link above if you want to save it, Coco. All right. I saved it, brother. Like, I cheered for Lundquist on the Caps, but it would hurt to play against him. Yeah. Some, faces, some fan bases do. Some don't. Yeah. Basically, Ben Stick breaks Miller... Gives Ben his stick, and he's just stuck in the hash marks trying to defend without a stick for like a minute. And JT is like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's a rough one. All right. This. I'm tired of this fucking jerk. Yep. I probably. That was probably dumb. I. I done fucked up, boys. I probably should have spread that out a little better. I messed up. I done fucking goofed, boys. My conquest strategy wasn't perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of JT. Hopefully he gets it together. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Let's see. He's not aggressive at all. Uh, so yeah, I just... I didn't see his weakness. But then again, maybe, like, his... You know, lightning were stacked, so maybe he didn't have to be that. Like I, when I saw JT Hockey Hero Miller, that's what we call him in Tampa. <laughs> I guys, I guess you guys, the Hockey Hero nickname didn't stay. <laughs> ole, ole, ole. You, you got, you guys didn't stick with the Hockey Hero nickname, huh? All right, I'll reword. He's physical. All right. Oh, no. I mean, I'm on a couple Facebook chants. I'm a couple thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But isn't give a shit much. Uh, that's sad. All right, I'm going to skip this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So that does not sound like Hockey Hero at all. Senpai's Facebook doesn't count. Exactly. All right, whoops. I fucked up. I keep fucking up, boys. It's almost like I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, please forgive me for my lack of fucking skills right now. My brain is broken. Uh, yeah, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let's attack. You, attack. I can't tell you how many times I saw uh, Millsy just say fuck it and go for a line change instead of trying to defend a play last season. Uh, that's rough. That's a rough one, boys. Our mission is to kill Milwaukee and maybe crash cars. Hughes had an awful year. Yeah, that's what I heard. I didn't follow much. Most of my knowledge about the Vancouver Canucks uh, comes from Sam Besser. He's a big, uh, he's a big Canucks fan. He's he's our mod. I think he's in the chat now. Just look terrible, so so the point mergent. Uh, I'm a Canucks fan, but I'm a realist. I'm going to bed, everyone. Good night. Good night, brother. I don't bullshit if our players suck. Yeah. What do you think about Demko, AJ? People went crazy in our chat of different Demko opinions. Demko opinions were hot. Meanwhile, Jack had a great season. Jack Hughes, I mean. Yeah, how many Hughes brothers are in the NHL now? Three? Two on the Devils? Isn't there a fourth one? What the hell? What 
the hell? All right, let's go skip the steel fans phase. Eee. It will steal fans. I was thinking about not stealing fans, but you know. So here's the thing on Demko. I break it down, AJ. AJ, be sensitive. Sam Besser, he's our mod, and he gets it. People argue that he's only had one good month, but if you look at the game by game log, he averages low goals against games. Alright. Oh wait, I don't need Jay Buter in here anymore. Ah, screw it, Jay. You get one more fucking game. Griffey, you can stay. No, fuck you, Jay. I don't like your fucking attitude. Why'd you get in there? Demko's a solid tendy. He just needs the team to score more goals for him. Oh, by the way, EW sadly broke the 1 million viewer streak. They got 9, 8, 9K this week. No! I, I blame me for going to work. <laughs> uh, you going to be at a watch party tomorrow, Golden Star? He's solid, not top 10 yet. Dude, the New Japan watch parties were a lot of fun. So hopefully we can keep building up. Nice. Yeah. We're going to watch uh, SmackDown, AEW, and probably New Japan. And then lots of video games in between. All I got is a dentist appointment. And considering COVID's at an all-time high. And it's stormy. It's nothing but video games. How old's them go? 25? Damn. Yeah, um, and our, our NHL team, the Tokyo Ninja Turtles, he's one of our goalies. He's two days older than me. Oh, uh, yeah, he's still very young, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Rick, watch party tomorrow, brother. You in or out? Say you're in, because I fucking love you. We're going to watch SmackDown, then AEW, and New Japan this weekend. Rick, we need you. Rick, you're the fucking brains. Rick, woo! Guys, check out Rick1982. He's old school. Even before we did the Twitch, he was part of our community. And he's... He's really, cl he's really smart. I say clever because I've been working with kids. You're not supposed to say smart at our school. You say clever. I don't know. But he's really clever and smart <laughs> about uh, pro wrestling. So check him out. Christian Cage versus Kenny Omega Impact World Championship. I'm super excited for that. Hank Aaron, his first hit ever as a Tokyo Giant. He's playing behind dog shit defense. One of the worst defensive systems in the NHL. So... Well, in the digital world, he plays for the Tokyo Giants. Woo! Not not for this Friday, but maybe this Saturday. All right, brother. You stop by whenever you can, man. You, you, you know we fucking love you. Uh, so Demo can only do so much behind it. Awful day. Favorite Christian Cage match? I mean, the TLC matches were amazing. Uh, I like this working impact. I can't think of a match that sticks out, but... I think his AEW work sucks balls, though. I don't know. You allowed to say that? I saw that match versus Matt Hardy and fucking... I demanded fucking an apology. There we go. Home run, boys. Oh, yeah. They fucked him so hard in 2011. Yeah. They did Christian Dirty. Yeah. Uh, the last show I ever promoted... Uh, Christian Cage wanted to work on my show and he I'm pretty sure he was gonna work for free but I was like dude no one on my show works for free and he's like oh but you can pay me the next show and I'm like funny thing about that Christian Cage this is my last show and I didn't want to fucking rip him off um, but we had Tyson, we had Tyson Tomko so yeah, for those that don't know, I used to work in pro wrestling, promoter, booker, uh, photographer. I did it all, except wrestle. Even though I did have one match, and it was at a charity show, and it was it was just stupid. But to to uh, to uh, I'm sorry, Tomko uh, worked in all Japan along with TNA, right? Yeah, I've seen who won the battle royal on Impact Wrestling last night. Omega's losing a title tonight on Rampage. I don't know. I I don't. I haven't been keeping up with Impact. Rick, why? Who, who won the Battle Royal? So basically, you jobbed. I uh, kind of, but I wasn't a pro wrestler. It was a charity thing because I did television and radio, and uh, 
I learned three moves, and it was a three-second match. And, um, and, um, it was, I did a cross body over the top. The wrestler caught me. Then I think he clotheslined me. He did something. I took a bump and then shit. I forget what it was, but I, I don't have the best memory in a concussion, but basically I covered him. It was supposed to be a one, two, three. And it, it he held me tight because that was something we did in our company. And then I pinned him. And the reason why he let me win was because my daughter was in the crowd. Uh, the wrestler was an indie wrestler out of Florida. His name was Joshua Masters. And it was just like a small charity show. And it was like, oh, Dave from Wrestle Night from Florida. Fucking Coco Sports guy. Let's see if we can kick his ass. And I wasn't supposed to win. And he was like, yeah, dude, we fu- I just changed the fucking script. And, you know, I, you know I, I'm 5'11". When I'm not fat, I'm kind of fucking in shape. But, you know, I can't hold my own against Joshua Masters. It's just reality. And uh, it, it was rarely kind. It was so funny, too, because I was like, I was pissed. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I can't win. And he's like, yeah, dude, I saw your daughter cheering you on. And I was like, ah, uh, Josh. So I'm 1 0 in pro wrestling. Just like, uh, fuck, what was the other that's really popular game that wasn't Fall Guys? Among Us. I'm 1-0 in Among Us and 1-0 in Pro Wrestling, boys. <laughs> Brian Myers won and is the number one contender for the Impact World title. Was he Chris Masters' brother? No, he, he was a indie wrestler that uh, did a Canadian gimmick. And he was a really good wrestler, except he just didn't... Like, ACW had like four or five really good wrestlers. Dustin Rhodes never understood about our company. He's like, you got four or five wrestlers that can make it to the Fed, and they don't want to wrestle outside of their town. And I'm like, I don't know, we're fucking lucky? I don't fucking know, what can I tell you? Yeah. Maddingly not giving a fuck up here! Jesus Christ, that wasn't even a power swing, boys! Maddingly ain't giving a fuck. Undefeated, yeah. Michael Cole. So I'm go work for New Japan along with TNA. Um... Uh, are you sure? I'm pretty sure he was all Japan. I could be wrong. He was a tag champ. Snoop Dogg's unofficially 1-0 and 0-0 and in and AEW. Nice. Off to bed chat. Good night. Good night, AJ. Thank you for the hockey knowledge, brother. I think Braden... Super Lightning fan thinks Braden Point should be ranked higher. But no matter where you ranked him, you knew that was going to be... Uh, we're, we're up by five. What does this idiot hit? <laughs> okay, then I, I'm wrong, Rick. You're right. I don't know. I knew he had the title. Because when he worked the show with me, he brought the title. It was cool because the last show I ever ran, I'm pretty sure we're the only show that had this. We had New Japan, Dragon Gate, AEW, FIP, Ring of Honor, WWE, and TNA all in the same building. Point was ranked number one. Dave, you should have been higher. You should have been number zero. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then I just didn't have the love of the business anymore. And I wanted to take a break and be a fan. And uh, WWE offered me to stay. And it was cool. I got to work there for a little bit, but it wasn't for me. They were very old professional. Dude. Oh, shit. I fucked up, boys. I did it. I fucked up. They didn't want your wrestlers. They wanted, yeah, yeah. That's the thing too. Uh, when uh, when D- when WWE when WWE uh, recruited us and bought our company, they literally pulled me aside and be like, "We don't want any of our wrestlers. We want you." They're like, "Dude, you draw full time living with no stars, and the stars volunteer to work for you." And uh, Dusty Rhodes put in a good word for me. The Nasty Boys did. And then I went there, and I was like, I hate your fucking product. <laughs> and they're, <laughs> and I, they're just like, do you want to stay? And I was like, nah. I was like, I'd rather just be a fan. So, a lot of times people think it's a dream job, but when you actually start doing it, if you actually hate the product, it's 
Speaking of nasty boys, send thoughts and prayers to Brian Nobbs. He was sent to the hospital recently for stomach issues. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even know that, dude. I fucking love those guys. I gotta start keeping contact with people. Look at goddamn Willie. Sexy as fuck, boys. Yeah. Yeah, for those that ever want to work for WWE and it's your dream job, get used to the saying, it's just wrestling. I was like, this doesn't make sense. It's just wrestling. This shouldn't be this way. It's just wrestling. I'm like, dude, no one says, no one is a writer or creator and says, no one at Futurama goes to say it's just a cartoon. You know, South Park don't like, it's such a shitty atmosphere. But for some people, it's their dream job. It was not for me. All right, let's see if we can get a home run ha hammer and Hank. Yeah, it's just Bray Wyatt. They don't give a fuck. Like, that's why people like that are super passionate about wrestling fans. I, super passionate WWE fans. I wish they could all work for WWE. Because you would not be passionate about that product at all. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And they're openly don't give a fuck. It seemed like Tyson, Tom, Coney, Alex Skipper are probably the, uh, on the juice. Looking at how muscular they were before later looking messed up. They were off the juice. Probably. But it's probably uh, very common. Plus, I don't know, dude. I, I never took the juice and I look fat as fuck. And like a piece of shit if I don't work out. <laughs> Like when I worked out twice a day, I looked fucking amazing. And now look at me, I'm a fat fucking potato. So, I mean, most likely they were on the juice. But still, you can look like a piece of shit without being on the juice. <laughs> you just change your diet, change that. But yeah, they're most likely on the juice. I feel like lots of people were on the juice uh, before the whole Benoit thing. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Just, Steroids ain't illegal here in Japan. I thought about taking them, but then I'm like, I'm fat. I don't play sports. I don't know. And I was like, hey guys, just show up. I start looking like Lex Luger. But what the fuck did you say to me in the chat? Like you're always angry. <laughs> like right now, I'm fat and super skinny and have no muscle. But you come back, I look like Lex Luger. But like, what the fuck did you say to me, Chad? <laughs> Then you guys know I'm on the juice. Then you know I'm on the juice. What did I clip? Did I dropped my controller. That's what I clipped. Ah. Uh, is Moose uh, is Moose on the juice? I don't know. Um, I would say 98.9% of the people are on the juice. Uh, but I don't know. It can be done naturally, but it's just so much easier to use steroids. Speaking of steroids in Japan, listen, yeah. Me, hey Dave, Stamux really needs to think about winding down. What the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the juice, you, you can... You could tell by like muscle structure and all that, but I don't know. It, it if it looks like it's juiced, then there's a 98% chance it's fucking juiced. And also, too, it looks like what your parents look like. You know, that's why like, you know, that's why I can't stop laughing at John Cena. It's like, oh, it's it's genetics. His fucking dad looks like an old man who fucking fell down by delivering the mail. <laughs> it's like, what fucking genetics do you have? Oh, yeah, he would have been a roided out monster who fought in Pride. What if Con what if Brock Lesnar fought Bob Sapp in Pride? I tell you, a fucking steroid dealer's fucking stock price would go up. Bob Sapp in Prime would have been perfect for WWE and Impact Wrestling, yeah. You on a juice on Twitch would be basically Tyler One. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, man. 
Who would have won the fight, Lesnar versus Sap? Uh, most likely Lesnar. Um, Bob Sap would have had a chance if it was pre Crow Cop Kick. A lot of people don't realize this. Uh, when Bob Sap was fearless before Crow Cop kicked the soul out of him, he had a chance of winning. But once Crow Cop kicked him in the face, he was like, fuck this. <laughs> So, plus he was a striker, so it depends pre or post. It, it really depends on pre or post uh, Crow Cop kick, and it really depends on... Because uh, Lesnar can't take strikes. I don't know. It would be a fun fight to watch. A after the Crow Cop kick, it would definitely have been... Uh, after the Crow Cop kick, it would have definitely been uh, Lesnar. But prior to that, he was a striker, and he thought he was invincible. All right, boys, we got some cards and a can of corn. I get it. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we got here, boys. We'll rally these bad, bad boys up. Move these bad boys over here. We're going to fuck with the roster. And then we're going to try to take out... What the... F Milwaukee, you're being a real pain in the ass by trying... Crow Cop's kicks were disgusting. Yeah, they were. Lesnar would win. I don't know, because you got to remember, Lesnar can't strike. I don't know. It would... Pre... pre Lesnar would probably still win. But pre Crow Cop kick, it would be a lot more exciting to watch. After Crow Cop kick, it's Lesnar all the way. Ooh, more diamonds. All right, boys. Do we want... Riley Green or Rodriguez? Green or Rodriguez? Because we got the other dudes. There's too many diamonds in this game. I don't feel like it's special at all. I'm going to go Deke Slayer or Wrestling Ranton? Brock Lesnar was a great wrestler, but a terrible at striking. Yeah. Lesnar versus Lashley on a hand would be a diff different story. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. I'm always surprised someone didn't book that. or They might. They'll probably book it way past their primes. All right, boys, what are we doing? Detroit or Orioles? Pitcher or right fielder? Green or Rodriguez? Oh, man. I forgot how bad this fort drink tastes. Uh. All right, boys. Ranton or Deke? Yes. Uh, you don't give a shit, then I'm going pitcher. When in doubt, pitcher. That's what, that's what my mom always told me. Chicago Cubs, Montreal. We already got them. We got all this. Why is this happening? Here, we'll get another Expos. Get another Expos, boys! Should I sell it for the stubs? All right. Do I got any more packs, or is that it? That's it. All right. Let's go fin... Now, before we finish it off, let's get rid of some of these people. Hank Aaron, I love you and respect you. But I ain't feeling you, buddy. I'm not feeling you. Let's go see who we got. Mullins? Reynolds? Willie Mays? Hayes? Do we have a White Sox? We need to get White Sox and Yankees up in here. All right, Hicks. Congratulations. You're in. Buner. Judge, you're in. All right. Yeah, we got to get some Yankees. We got to get a White Sox. Is there any fucking White Sox? White Sox, your bums. Now let's... I know what we gotta do. JT Real Muda. Yeah, I gotta get... I gotta get, like, doubles and shit. Oh, okay! We got some fucking... There we go. Matting... Oh, shit. You play another position. You don't. Do you play another position? You do, but where do you play? Right field. Uh, do I take Mattingly out? Do I take Griff out? Griff, we don't need you anymore, but we love you. Don't go far. All right, we need home runs. This has only home runs. I believe he does. Power, power, power. Oh, power. Yeah, he has home runs. All right, boys, we need we need home runs and doubles from Paul Kenico. I'm probably mispronouncing that name, and sadly, I actually watched him play, so it makes it extra embarrassing. We need Yankees. All Yankees outfield, boys. All right. 
Sorry, dudes. Wait. Reggie. Fuck you, Hicks. Don't mean to get personal, but we got Reggie fucking Jackson here, you pervert. All Yankees outfields. Uh, Bob Sop literally lost on purpose in most of his fights for money, especially fights he could have easily won. Sad, but I guess he didn't want to get hurt badly anymore. I, I, that's 100 what it is. Nine, nine to eight, Rick, that's exactly what it was, brother. He's like, I can get paid. Alright, I don't know if I still need him. We'll play. Sam, what do you got for messages here? I think Sam's being a pervert. Oh, he's got some football highlights. What fucking team are you? The Pioneers? Hey, first off, not gonna fucking lie. Fucking hot as fuck. Can you move all the teams and have a season? Like, start your own little XFL? Field goal. Oh, that was in the fourth. Damn. Fuck you, Elite Jacksonville. All right, boys. We've been doing a lot of work. But I'm using big brain strategies. Let's go fucking attack. First ever game for the Salt Lake City Pioneers. That's a cool fucking name, brother. Yeah. Do you think I can do a full franchise in 10 hours? Definitely at least one season, right? Uh, do I, yeah, fuck it. Ah, shit. That was my biggest fear. My biggest fear came true, boys. I didn't fucking... I didn't want... I didn't want to fucking play these assholes again, but there. I have left them four hours. Hidden rewards. No more packs. You sexy sons of bitches wanted packs. You got packs. It came out today. Damn. You can definitely do a season in, what, ten hours? Is it only this weekend? Are you for real, dude? I didn't think you were gonna win. I honest oh shit, dude, we're fucked. Fucking Milwaukee here. Oh thank god they died. Thank god they died, boys. Thank god they died. It's not only this weekend? Alright, cool. Cause I might might try to do a, a franchise. Should I do the Bucks? But Bucks franchise seems kind of silly. Or do we just get it out of the way? Do it and then if we do buy the game. Or should I buy the Jets? Wait a second. How? Oh, because they kept losing people by attacking. Fuck it. Alright, boys. If we win this game, we're going to switch games. If we lose this game, we'll keep playing. Palmer, you suck, but we're gonna put you in, buddy. Alright. Alright, good enough for good mark. Our team's too good. Do the Bucks during the trial, and if you get the game, start up your main franchise? Alright, that sounds cool. I think that's a good idea. Go Bucks. Plus, we already got Bucks graphics already made. Buy the Jags. Call them the Elite. If I buy the Jags, I'm definitely moving that fucking team. Let's see, see if I can win. You ever match Bobby Lashley versus Bob Sapp fight? It's pretty much how his Brock Lesnar would have beaten Sapp by takedown and ground a pound. Yeah. I got an idea. We can do it if you buy the game. All right, let me hear it, pervert. I don't know if I want to buy it because I, I feel like if I buy it, they're going to hurt me and stop taking away more options. I'm scared. I want to buy it. I bought it my whole life, but do you remember how bad 20 was? I mean, 19 was bad, but it was an off year. And 20 was worse. I couldn't buy 21. It hurt, boys. There's only so many times you can let EA kick you in the fucking nuts. Alright. 
Lashley was actually really good in Bellator. Pe people in WWE forgot that. Yeah. The game is better than 20. All right. I just, I feel like... Golden Star, 1 out of 10. How much is EA going to hurt me if I get this fucking game? 10 hours free. I'm willing to give it a shot. Maybe I play to 10 hours, and if I don't enjoy it, then we'll call it a day. Six? All right, that's, that's fair. It's going to hurt me a six. Because, dude, I, I've said this a million times, but just in case there's a new viewer, Madden and me had something special. I played every Madden. Fuck you, young people. I did it, man, in 2000. I played every one. You had to play it on PC when it first came out. I played every single Madden. Every year, bought it. Bought the fucking books. Bought everything. Been to over 30 countries. Always found a way to buy Madden. It comes out around my birthday. It, me and Madden were tight. 9.75. Me and Madden were fucking tight. Uh, you know, I forgave him for 18. 19, it was an off year. And I remember I was super excited. I was like, dude, they're going to turn around at Madden 20. And I went to work, and I was so happy. It was Madden day. It was a fucking holiday. I put in Madden 20, looked at the menu, looked at my girlfriend, and said, I, n I hate this fucking game. Didn't even have to go into menu. I instantly fucking knew I hated it. And then 21, classic franchise, hashtag fixed franchise. I was like, yeah, I'm out, boys. All right, let's see. That's, uh, let me see. What's your idea? The game is better than 20. Connected franchise, you and me and others take control of the team. Possibility. Are we just doing general manager or are we going to actually play the games? Because, A, I'm not that good at video games. And, B... The lag is insane. Oh, I didn't... Damn. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing right there for 10 seconds. But yeah, maybe. I wouldn't mind a connected franchise if it works. But I feel... I feel I'm not that good at video games, and the lag will just drive people nuts. Play the games? Alright. Are we all going to be our favorite team? I mean, is it fair that I'm the Bucks? The lag is real. Yeah. Yeah, but NBA 2K, that was a disaster. We did an online franchise off air just to test it out. Sam was already done his season, and I was still looking my draft pick in the eye. I was like, the game froze. I picked, uh, I think, Alonzo Ball. I'm pretty sure. I, I picked one of the Ball brothers. And it just his graphic came up. He was staring straight ahead. And I was like, I'm kind of stuck on my draft pick. And Sam's like, I already finished my uh, finished my season and career. The Madden's connected franchise will work. Nice. Herschel Walker was 2-0 in MMA. Remember him, Dave? I do. He's one of the greatest athletes of all time that people just fucking forget about. Hey, fucking Olympian. Fucking multi-sport athlete. He was just a badass motherfucker. I think he's like 400 years old and... Looks like Captain America. Like if someone came to me and said Herschel Walker got Captain Captain America's super serum, I wouldn't even fucking doubt it. Uh, this asshole has to hit a home run. Uh, yeah, I have a Japanese. I have the Japanese baseball game. Me and my girlfriend have a series on Coco Plays. Uh, we play the cartoony one, The Life. Uh, the Japanese baseball games are way harder and a zillion times have more a zillion more options That's why like in Japan People that dude road to the show fucking hate it It's like oh in the life in the Japanese baseball game I could choose my girlfriend. I can get an RC car. I can get a car. I can get an apartment I can play any position. I can go anywhere. I can walk around town And then you got fucking video clips saying you're a toy player. Fuck you Road to the Show. I mean, I... My problem is with Road to the Show, I have to realize it's not a Japanese game and just play it and do exactly what they want me to do. You know, I, I just gotta be like, alright, fine, I'm a two-way player, sure, whatever. Because God forbid if you go off that script. And not all that, but the cutscenes are horrible. I led the, I put it on super easy, and I was like, oh, let me just fucking grind for points. I led the league in every stat possible. And the announcer comes on and be like, oh, this is a bust. I'm like, I led the league in every 
fucking physical stat there is. And the recording goes, he's a bust. He should give up. I was like, dude, fuck you. Your game sucks. By the way, they didn't touch the relocation. Oh, <gasps> they said they were going to add teams. They didn't add teams. Oh, Madden, you dirty fucking horse. Can we do a connected franchise where we're all fucking uh, expansion teams or relocated teams? Is that a possibility? Can I be the London Monarchs and you be the Pioneers? That would be kind of fun. That must be coming in day one patch. All right, because they said they were going to do it. Uh, Griffey, get out there. I'll give Hicks a shot. Hicks, get out there. We never play you, Hicks. It's so funny because I look at these cards and they give too many great cards too fast. If they didn't give so many diamonds, this card would be amazing. And now we just play them for the sake of fucking... Oh, we need a Yankee. Oh, fuck. You need a Yankee? Fucking Yankees deliver, boys. The Yankees deliver. Jesus, Hicks. Jesus. Have the things that want in it, in it aren't, but they're adding into the game on day one. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, create a team and expansion teams come. I don't want to hear their fucking bullshit NFL wise. Reggie. There we are. Bring the Tokyo Ninja Turtles or the Fujitsu Frontiers. Man, I wish NBA Live was a fun game to play. I mean, not NBA Live. I wish NBA 2K was a fun game to play. Because, man. Oh, shit. Givens, get out there, boy. There we go. Givens got it. All right, who's going to warm up? Snell, are we going to warm you up, buddy? You know what? Why not fucking the mustache? Accuracy? Man, that's a sexy son of a bitch. Alright, warm up, my friends. Warm up. Alright, come on, boys. Let's do it. Uh, half the things they wanted. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm just not buying that. Oh, it's because of the pandemic bullshit. They... That's a bullshit lie, and they don't fucking deserve to use that. But we'll see after day one with the patches. Because it would be cool if we got all streamers, but we all were different uh, expansion teams. Can we do fantasy draft? Like, a six-league team with nothing but relocated teams and fantasy drafts. That would be hot as fuck! I don't know if it's possible. Sometimes I fucking think things in video games are easy. And they're like, that's impossible. I'm like, you did it in 2004. Yeah, technology got worse. Oh, makes sense, EA. Makes sense, 2K. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Uh... I hit 650k XP last night and got judged. Shake my head. That pack is, is AIDS. No! We have to wait one season to relocate the teams. Okay. Do you just want to sim the first season and then relocate? I mean, if you have older players, Tom Brady might retire. And can we do fantasy draft or no? Who do you got? I love scrambling quarterbacks. Who's the best scrambling quarterback in the league right now? In your opinion. Do you think it's the it's dude up in Baltimore? Lamar Jackson? That's who I would get. I don't know why I'm telling Sam, my competitor, who I'd get first. It still takes a season to relocate a team. Yeah, we'll do fantasy draft, sim a season, relocate it, and bam! We're fucking hot as fuck, Sam. Is that a possibility, or am I dreaming too big? Because 
just bring no fantasy draft okay i'm dreaming too big boys all right well then we might as well just be it are we gonna be our favorite teams or are we drawing them out of a hat because I don't know. I have. I'll. Because I'll be getting the best team. The problem is, I'm probably the least skilled. So I don't know if that's good or bad, or people will be angry. What? What? What if it's playing left field? Oh, Mattingly. Why do we have Mattingly playing left field? It's. That's. Uh, uh, Griffey, get out there, dude. I don't want to apologize. <laughs> wow. You choose whoever you want? Alright. Because I'll choose the Bucks, but at the same time, that might not be fair. Because if we pick, we have to pick a team. Because I also like the Jets. So if I have to pick more. Uh, a more grounded team. You can relate, re relocate if you want. Well, I don't want to relocate the Bucks. I'll relocate the shit out of Jacksonville. Sam, do you have a favorite NFL team? I don't know. You, you look like the type of asshole that would root for Buffalo. Or maybe Seattle. I don't know. Something cold. All right, boys. We did it. We fucking did it. Fuck you, Milwaukee. Don't you dare come into our fucking neighborhood again. Look at Hicks. Talking all that shit. And there he goes. He fucking made it happen, boys. We did it, boys. Palmer, I think he got the strikeouts we needed. Bear friends. Bear friends. Look how fucking attractive I am. <laughs> Look how attractive I am. <laughs> Level five. <laughs> Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Even though San Diego has him wearing number nine and he wore number 44 for the Yankees. The Seahawks. All right. Fucking that's my jam, boys. Level five. Let's take a little fucking picture of this. I love Reggie Jackson. Okay, where did my picture go? Ah, screw it. We'll worry about that later. Ooh, we got some unis, boys. Yankees and, uh... Fucking White Sox. Feel the dream shit going down. Alright, got some packs. Look at this. Right now, how hot, how hot is that? Chicago White Sox will be taking you out next time we play. And don't even get me started on you, Yankees. Alright, so there you go, boys. Let's go open some packs. And... We'll figure out what we're gonna do. But no. There we go. Open pack. Let's see. We get some diamonds. Do you feel it, boys? Oh, well, we got Michael Conforto. Conforto. Met. Headliners. Come on. I need a diamond. I'm. You know, I complain about having too many diamonds, and then I'm sad when I don't get diamonds. I'm just a fucking regular pain in the ass, boys. A regular fucking pain in the ass. That's what I am. Anyway, level five, Reggie fucking Jackson. Let's let's go see how our level fives are doing, boys. Do we have enough for uh, NAS bus? Our wreck fest. There's the best raise in the game. Uh, and there it is, another level five, boys. There we go. Level 5 Willie, level 5 Piazza. Look at our pitchers. Oops. That's our main pitchers. Okay, come on, I'm a good person, right? Level 5, level 5, level 5, level 5. Plus we have a level 5 Snell. Look at that. 
Look at it. All right. Where, where's this picture? We got to show recent captures. The Twitter world needs to know. The Twitter world needs to know. Mobile? No, why would I need mobile? See all sharing options? Twitter. Twitter. We did it, boys. Fucking level five. Sam, you want to wreck some cars? If you want to wreck some cars, say... Alright, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Another level five, another victory. White Sox next. With that... I am over. Ba -da 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 -da.